What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we're up here in Rutherford County in North Carolina and this is about two counties up from where we're at, or actually three counties from where the shop is. And we're at a little pond here and this pond's actually connected to a golf course up here. And I just want to show you some scenery up here. It is absolutely gorgeous. And if I told you that I absolutely love doing what I do for a living, that would be an understatement because I truly do. I love this job no matter you know what it is I'm doing. If I'm diving in this nasty old pond here, or if I'm getting to go out in the ocean, or if I'm just diving in our lake, I absolutely love going underwater and exploring. But you guys have been asking on our salvage videos if I could talk about failures and what do you do when you can't complete a job, whether it's a lift job, whether it's a pump replacement like we're doing here, or you know how do you deal with that when it's a failure? And I want to talk a little bit about actual failures versus what you may consider a failure. So a failure is anytime you can't complete that task. So maybe you can't complete it because you don't have the right gear. Maybe you can't complete it because you didn't have enough lift. Maybe you can't complete it because like in the case that we're at today, we didn't have the right equipment that we thought we were supposed to have. And just kind of show you what we're doing. This is the intake system here. So this intake, that's a float that you're seeing. And then directly below the float is the actual intake pipe. And if you look on, just on land, you'll see the new uh, cap pieces. And that's the filters or the screens that go on the end of the pipe. And the old screen system, when the company called us to replace it, they just assumed that it was damaged, that it, you know, that it wasn't there anymore, and they were sucking too much stuff up in this pipe. So they created a new flange uh, intake or screen system. And our job was, of course, get out here, take the old one off or get the hardware off of it and install the new one. Well, this job in itself kind of became a failure just because we can't really put the new system on because it's a different system. And I'm gonna walk you over here in a minute and kind of explain how that works. But then I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks and some pointers to help you out when you can't complete a job on how you can still make it a successful job without being a failure. Just as a quick background guys, what we're doing here is we are doing a quick inspection at the end of the pipe and we are looking for the old grate that covered the intake pipe. I got it. Found it? Yeah. Oh, there's a ring? Yeah, it's right here. I got it in my hand. Oh, okay. Is it attached? It's still the bud. It's in my hand. I can't lift it. Is that, do you need a 50 pound lift bag? Nope, hold on. I just gotta get the shit out of it. Is it attached to the pipe? Okay. Like a PVC collar. It's the pop in the mud. There you go. Okay, cool. Put on, put on the rest of it. Yeah, bring that over here. Need to loosen it up. <laughs> yeah. I dropped this camera. You're fired. <laughs> I'm coming if you give me a second. That way you ain't gotta get your uh, camera close to the wall. There you go. Uh, it's missing three of the nuts. It's got one, no, it's missing all four. And still got a washer on it. I'm gonna say those rusted out and over the years it just loosened up, yeah. We can reinstall this if we can get four, four washers and four nuts. So just as a quick recap real quick, you can see the float. This is the float that's holding the intake pipe. And right here is the actual intake pipe. And you can see it just below the surface there. This is the old, old screen that was on it. And then of course, this is the new flange screen that they were actually wanting us to install. Well, the issue is there's no flange out there on the end of the pipe, it's just smooth. And as we did locate the old uh, screen system, you can see it's just a clamp on system. It doesn't really have a flange. This just slides over the pipe itself. And then you got two uh, threaded bolts there that you put nuts on it and it, it protects the system. It keeps them from getting debris and trash and all that in it. Well, we can't actually install this new system, even though it was custom built for it, because there's no flange out there. And you can see all the hardware for it as well. So this is what I was talking about, a failure that you can still be successful at. The success of this story is pretty simple. We couldn't originally find this screen system when my two divers went out there to inspect the pipe. So I told them, okay, let's assume that the um, screen had been blown off or pushed off by debris or whatnot. So I had them do a, just a quick radius search, and of course they located it. Well, now that we've located it, we can turn a failure of not being able to complete the task 
by reinstalling the old screen system. So all we've got to do is get some nuts here, which uh, the employees here at the golf course have went to go get. They're going to get some washers and nuts. We're going to reinstall this screen, get it resecured, and we can turn a failure into a success. Guys, I want to make a quick note before we start. Anytime that we do anything around water pumps, we always do a lockout tagout procedure. Next, you can see I've already turned the system off. I'm gonna put a tag on it real quick. That lets anybody know that we're basically in the water. Don't mess with the system. And of course, when we get done, we'll turn it back on. But we always do lockout tagout anytime we're working around pumps because we definitely don't want Delta P to get a hold of us while we're down there. And of course, keep us under when we were ready to come up. But just wanted to throw that in there for you. If you do work like this, lock out, tag out, no questions asked. So let's talk about failures real quick, guys. You know, failures happen in everyday life. It's going to happen to you during your dive training. It's going to ha happen whatever you do for a living, failures are going to happen. But just like your open water instructor taught you and just like maybe your rescue diver instructor taught you, stop, think, and act. Anytime we have a problem, we need to stop everything that we're doing, breathe through it, think about what's going on and how we're going to fix this issue, breathe through it, and then, of course, act upon it. That's what we've done here. We had an issue of not having a grate on the end of the pipe. The new fabricated grate did not uh, retrofit to it. Um, so we stopped. We thought about, well, where could the old grate be? Of course, we did a quick circle search. We located it, and then we determined that it could be retrofitted or reinstalled, if you will. So this failure of a dive, even on a job site like this, became a successful dive and you can do the exact same thing and you're going to fix to see another failure that happens quite a bit in, in this line of work um, we actually had one of our dive masters one of our new guys uh, lose his mask at the bottom of this dam so take a look at this it's kind of funny oh crap i just dropped my mask did Seriously? you really yeah i'll get it all right thank you When your newest guy who's a dive master loses his mask at the bottom of a dam, yeah, that's a failure too. As with any failures, guys, when you're in a team-based scenario, we work together as a team. As you can see, one of my other divers simply swam down to the bottom of the dam there, retrieved his mask for him, and then helped him out. And that's what we do. We work as a team on this. This is not a one-man show, um, and there's no I in team, of course. If you can see it there, just below the surface, we have the water grate right there, reinstalled. So as you can see, underwater jobs, underwater salvage jobs, they don't always go as planned, and yet you are going to fail sometimes. That's okay. As long as you learn from that failure and you work through that failure, you can turn a failure into a successful dive any day of the week. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know we didn't really show you anything underwater. We got a little bit of footage for you, but I want you to understand when we do work like this, or if you're wanting to get into work like this, take a failure, learn from it, turn it into a success, and you'll be a much more successful diver because of it. But guys, if you like this video, if you got any questions, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.